What's up guys, welcome back for the next episode of Ninth Dawn Part 3. We're back. Just made some more progress on capturing a bunch of stuff. Fun stuff. Go ahead and uh, send out another one of these little bad boys over here. Yeah, we're gonna get some levels for our guys. Uh, I'm gonna have to name these creatures eventually. Um, I don't know what to name them though. Oh, I know what I could do. I could name Tempered Fungus, uh... I could name Tempered Fungus. Hang on. Hang on. Where is it? Where is it? Where Where are you? Where, there you are. Your name is gonna be... Your name is gonna be... Do, do, do. Mushroom. Uh, let's see if I can get it to fit. And there you go. <laughs> Heck, I could even get a space in here. What do you think about that? Boom. There you go. Your name is now Mushroom Hunter, little fungus boy. Uh, let's see. FL, do you want me to name a monster after you? Which monster do you want to be named after? Bone Daddy's already been taken, sorry. <laughs> Mushroom Hunter, I'm so honored. That's right. See, I, I even found a mushroom to name you after. What do you think about that? Because you're such a fun guy. Fun guy. Get it? Fun fun guy. You see what I did there? See, you see what I did there? Uh, eh, I don't know. It's a little, uh, little highbrow. You might not have gotten it. It's a play on words. <laughs> Let me know, uh, let me know what monster you want to be named after. Here, I'll even, I'll even bring up the, uh, the, the, the creature list so you can see what, uh, what I have. So I got all, got all these guys in my party currently. Then we got these guys. Any of these ones that say pet, blah, 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 those are ones I haven't named yet. Uh, let me know. Let me know. How about the goblin? Just which goblin? Which one? The, there's the kobold. There's just a regular, regular old goblin. I mean, you want to be the marauder, the fighter? Which one? Which one? Which one? Which one? I fell. Got a marauder, a scout, true blood. Warrior. We've got, uh... We've got some, uh... Let's see, I got the Cobalt Fighter. What do you, what do you want to be? Marauder? Okay. You can be the little BDSM Goblin. There you go. You are now the the Marauder. FL the Goblin. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I swear, it looks like he's wearing a little little BDSM out outfit. It's adorable. He's got that, uh, you know, that black leather cap on and all that jazz. I knew that'd be your thing. Alright, let's see. Do, 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 do. Alright, can I go in this little room? I mean, no, but it's not like there's anything here anyway. We're getting levels like crazy. That's what you like to see. Look at all them kobolds. No, oh, I don't have one of those wolves yet. Eventually I'll have to go get one of them.
So, uh, Space Crew is going to be getting an update here pretty soon. Um, that's going to enable a seventh crew member, for one. Uh, Rockman and I are pretty excited for that. Means we'll always be able to have, uh, oh, wait, 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 these are new monsters. These are new monsters. Don't kill them all. Don't kill them all. Don't kill them all. Chill, bros. Chill. Um, here, you guys can all just go hang out there. Uh, wait here. There we go. Perfect. Hey, Relentless Skeleton is now my best friend. Oops. Pet Relentless Skeleton. I think it's clever. I don't think that's what I want. I think I would rather have a strong Relentless Skeleton, to be completely honest. But, the hell do I know? There's a wolf. I'm gonna have to be careful here. Okay. Fierce wolf! Way to go, fierce wolf. Uh, all rounder. I'm pretty sure I would rather have a strong version of you. again. Maybe get lucky. Think you're the police of not getting captured? That makes sense. Okay, what are you? Clever! Damn it! I don't want smart wolves, I want strong wolves! Damn it! Alright, that's fine. Maybe I'll catch this one with like one trap. I said maybe I'll catch this one. There we go. <laughs> Damn it! Ah! They're all clever. Damn you, clever boys. Ah. Caught me with that divine blight. Oh, a little decayed bat or something? I don't have one of them yet. Hey, come here. Come here, buddy. Come here, you little scabby creation. Be my friend. Be my friend. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I want you to do it. Come on. See you doing your little cartwheels. I think you're special. Come here. Wouldn't mind if this bat was clever. Watch, he's going to be like an all rounder. Just my luck. Undead bat. Neat. Defensive? Yeah, whatever. Uh, let's see. Where's all those wolves I captured? Clever. 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 Yippy skippy. I don't know if... I don't think they have different, uh... Different stats. I think they're all the same. Yeah, they're all the same. Uh, so we only need to keep one of these. Uh, you can go die. Uh, you can also go die. Sweet. Making some real progress on our on our monster capturing. I'm, I'm real happy about that. Anything else over here that I want to grab? Make my own? Any other friends? Hmm? No? Okay. It's fine. Hey! What's up, buddies? You're dead. Okay. 
wonder what the boss is going to be here. I haven't tried capturing a boss. I mean, I'm about 99% sure you can't, but I've never tried. I know you can't capture people. That really sucked. I wanted to be a, like a bandit lord and have uh, a bunch of people under my command, but uh, sadly that's not a thing. Oh my god, just die, please. Too bad the ones that we capture don't have that kind of HP. That would be crazy! They would never die. What do we got going here? A bunch of kobolds and shit? Okay. I suppose I could have Balsa with me. Oops. Uh, that way she can at least uh, gain some stuff. Uh, can monsters evolve into boss tiers? I don't know, actually. Um, I haven't tried the, mo uh, the morph stones yet, because I don't have anything that's a high enough level. Uh, so I'm not sure yet. Uh, have I tried any of the more advanced arrows? No, I have not. Uh, I've got a really, really bad case of too good to use syndrome when it comes to anything other than basic arrows. <laughs> be 100% honest with you. I just, I can't bring myself to use those elemental arrows that I have. Just, nothing is powerful enough for me to give a shit. How sad as that is. Yep. Dude, seriously. The Skyrim, or just RPGs in general. That entire vibe, like, it's just, nothing I've fought is powerful enough for me to give a shit about using some, uh, some, some gear other than base level gear. Too good to use syndrome is alive and well in this game. Basic arrows all day, yes. Just straight up wooden arrows. I, I can't be bothered to use anything else. Because what if I need those other arrows? What if I get into a situation where I need, need, need them? But I use them. Hmm. They need to give us an RPG that uh, rewards us with equipment that we haven't used. <laughs> like, oh, I see you're sitting on top of, you know, 55 gajillion potions and, you know, 10,000, you know, faster than light speed arrows uh, because you didn't use them on the final boss, even though it was literally the final boss. Uh, here's all your stuff. <laughs> like, you're right, it's not my fault that they didn't make the game harder. Um, or that I, like, over-leveled myself in preparation for everything because I played an RPG more than once in my life. And I can't help but over-prepare. You know, it's not my fault. It's definitely not my fault. I should at least have, like, one creature out with me so they can level up. Uh, who's my highest level creature? Probably Gopta, I would imagine. Get him, Balsa. Yeah, I think is my highest level. Let's, uh... Let's get him in here. See how he does. Uh, yeah, there you go. You can have a little bit of regen. You can have some fun in here. I think experience gets split up amongst your party so the more creatures you have out the less experience each one individually gets so if you have fewer and fewer members of your party they should get more and more experience uh, I'm just guessing though I haven't done any actual scientific experimenting with that so you know no endurance 15% Hell yeah. Or as Travis Touchdown would say, Hell yeah! I think that was Travis Touchdown that said that. Anyway. How y'all doing? <sighs> what do we got here? Get him, Gopta! Get him! Kick his ass! What are you doing in here all by yourself? 
I'll buy your lonesome. Black gloves. Nice. Sunken gem ring. Alright. Physical defense 8. Bottle leech. Cure status, cure status, cure. Okay. Uh. See, look. This is. This is a perfect example of too good to use. It cures all these statuses. Like, unless I'm affected by every single one of these statuses at once, I'm never going to use this stupid item. Because <laughs> Fireburn, who who freaking cares? I'll just wait 10 seconds for it to go away. Darkness? Uh, uh, I don't even know what that does. Earthly Drain? Uh, again, no clue what that does. Frost? I don't know. Am I chilly? Give me a scarf. <laughs> like, I got no... No inkling to ever use that stuff. Don't understand. Alright. Black gloves. We're probably never gonna wear you. Because the game hasn't given me a reason to not wear heavy armor. Funnily enough. Um, where are we at for our armor anyway? Uh, 34 in magic? Or in, uh, in heavy armor? Alright, I guess. 63 in uh, Magic Restoration. I think Magic Restoration is going to be... Uh, nope, never mind. I was going to say, I think that's going to be my first skill that gets up to 100. But no, nah, my bartering is pretty high. Uh, Alright, got that crackle voice reminded me of the hey uh, call from Into the Wild. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, but I think my bartering might be the first thing that gets to... Uh, gets to... Uh, level 100. Which uh, is appropriate because I've spent a lot of time selling stuff, making money, because money is so necessary. Incredibly necessary. Kick his ass, Gopta. What the hell are you doing? Kick his ass. Kick his ass, bro. Hey, good job. Kill him! Gopta, kill him! You're not really, not really killing them here for me. Balsa's kind of taking all your thunder. Um, level 32, it's gone up one level. Yeah, the uh, the hunter call of the wild. Yeah. Hey, -haw. that was a fun series. That was a fun series. Fun game. That was uh, one of my more successful videos on my channel. No idea why. Of course, I could say that about any of them that uh, that have been relatively successful. Um, I was actually thinking about some of my Seven Days to Die content the other day. Uh, it's really a it's really a shame that uh, the devs don't plan on updating the console version of that game because I would like to play it again. It's just I can't bring myself to to do it uh, unless it's been updated. You know, just it feels like it feels like it would be a waste of time to try and play the game when it's not updated. I, I know that that probably sounds silly. Um, yeah, exactly. I felt better days, better days. Um, I know I know that sounds kind of silly, coming from uh, you know me, but uh, I don't know. I just. I don't know. Maybe maybe that's a little maybe that's a little selfish of me to not want to play the game unless it's updated. But I don't know, man. Like I just I just don't understand why they wouldn't continue covering it. You know? I mean, they got the rights back, so it's not like they you know can't. You no, know, it's just. Maybe they, uh, maybe they just don't see the point in updating it for people that have already bought it, you know? I mean, it's not like it, updating it would generate them much more money. Um, the IP in general, you know, Seven Days to Die, um, I, don't, I don't really anticipate a lot of new people buying the game. No, Balsa, don't do it! No! Oh, I need to capture one of those. <laughs> Here, let's, uh, take this. They won't actually attack 
something that uh, you're trying to charm, by the way, if you weren't aware. Skeleton Warlord! All rounder? Come on. What kind of a warlorder is an all rounder? Let's be real here. Let's try and get a strong one. Damn it, Balsa! <laughs> I was trying to do a thing. I just said that they wouldn't attack things unless, you know, you were provoked, I guess. But still. We've got to along. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay. Gotcha! Alright, uh, are you strong? You're defensive. I guess that'll work. I suppose. Yeah, I need to do some farming to get my, uh... My creatures up to a high enough level so I can use morph stones, though. Um, it's gonna be a bit. It's gonna be a bit. It's gonna be a long, long time. <laughs> Gotta be getting close to the end here. many games, so little time. Yeah. Not wrong. Um, oh, hello, Skeleton Fighter. Hello, named boy. Give me your iron tower shield, something I'll never use. Yes. Yes. Alright. Uh, I can't even remember if there's actually a skill for shield usage. Now that I'm thinking about it. What does this do? Wow, dark defense. Freaking neat. I guess. Is there a shield skill? Mm, no, I guess it's just in the category of heavy armor and light armor and yada yada yada. So on and so forth. Zero in stealth. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, brother. Get that zero. Alright. Uh, where are we? So I started watching... Uh, I'm actually very surprised I haven't watched it before. I started watching uh, Life Aquatic with uh, Steve Zissou. Started watching that for the first time uh, the other day. I'm really liking it so far. Uh, it's an impressive thing that you have managed to go to work, come home, and make something out of your entertainment. Yeah, I mean... I don't know if I would say it's impressive. I think it's more impressive that I stuck with it for, you know, with a channel that nobody watches. <laughs> I don't know if that's impressive or just... I'm just stubborn, but, um... Yeah, I mean, I just... I don't know. At this point, it's just kind of like, uh... I've been doing it so long, I might as well just keep doing it. <laughs> as, as, you know, stupid as that sounds. Let's see, uh, how did he know my name is no one? Nobody? Wait, what? <laughs> oh, no, you're not nobody. You're Scarlet Dragoon. Hey, Scarlet, what, uh... What what creature do you want me to name you after, since you're here and I'm in the naming spirit? Uh, what 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 do you want to be? I don't have a dragon yet, so I can't name you after a dragon, unfortunately. Um, I'll show the creature list real quick. If you wanna if you wanna get named after anything that hasn't gotten a name, let me know. When you put your time and effort into it, there's no reason to quit unless it becomes a detriment to another part of your life. Oh, trust me, it's not a detriment to any other part of my life. I have literally. You want a pet wolf cub? Okay. You want to be a pet wolf cub? You can be the pet wolf cub. Uh, that's uh, that's adorable. All right. Uh, duh, duh, duh. Uh, 
Scarlet. Scarlet. Dragoon. Sweet. There you go. You are now a, an adorable little pet wolf cub. <laughs> there you go. Alright, that unlocked this thing. What else we got going on here? I like how they have shields. I've never noticed them having new equipment. This might be the first place that I've seen them with new equipment. Like the monsters themselves. Um, it's pretty cool. You know, it's pretty, pretty neato that the humanoid type creatures have uh, that stuff. Help me, Squire. Mushrooms are the most dangerous creatures in here. Alright, wow. What a treasure trove of a room. That's 25% of the dungeon done right there. Uh, already went that way, already went that way. Uh, yeah, okay very quickly running out of dungeon. Alright, what do we got here? Black Cuffs. Experience gain. Huh, more crossbow bolts I'm never going to use. <laughs> yeah, classic. Good job. Gopta! No! Anyway... <laughs> what was it that just killed you? It was like, I think it was one of those floaty creatures that um, I didn't get the chance to uh, do anything with because they all died so quickly. Wait here, Falsa. I've got to find one of those things and capture it. Uh, I think they're all dead, though. I've only seen like two of them. Spell attack, plus 2.4. It's not too bad. Ooh, a Cavalier Helm. That's pretty cool. Golden War. Wow, 849. Balsa, do you want to start using Great Blunts? Uh, yeah, I'm going to put on this bitchin' helmet. Aw, oh, yeah! Wearing a new helmet. Suka suka. Anyway. Um... Where the hell are we going? Okay. Got to level 34. 9,400 HP. What a badass. Uh, I think I've already explored everything here. Yep, I went down there. Okie dokie. Nothing here. Uh, that was already done. Okay. Where the heck am I going? This way? Yeah, let's go this way. Okay. Uh, did I go all the way down this way? Yes, I did. I not been I go all the, I must have gone all the way up here yep uh, give me that pair it's my pair all right uh I don't think we've gone up into the north just yet not fully way actually I think so yep 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 don't mind me I'm just gonna walk all this way okay uh, what about this way that's nothing you idiot north north Oh, there's some enemies there. That's a good sign. 
There we go. Okay. Don't worry, guys. We got it. We got it. Ask me earlier if I was going to pick up this game. I don't play at all, but I enjoy watching. Oh, okay. Well, that's fair. That's fair. It's all good. It's all good. wonder what the lore implications behind this place is. It's certainly interesting. your HP region. Still looking for another one of those little dudes that has the uh, little floaty torso body things. Yeah. Probably have to leave and then come back, I wager. We gotta be getting close to the boss. I mean, we've, we've picked up almost all the consumables. Or the points, or the thingies, whatever, I don't know. Because um, I believe that someone was telling me that bosses take up like 60% of the dungeon in terms of completion percentage and everything else is you know, the rest of it you know, math uh, so it looks like we're going to be heading down here into the right a little bit back off, jerk Skeleton Fighter! Look at me! Oh, another fucking shield, man. Look at all that chickens! Some homies. Let's see. What are we got in here? Yeah, see, yeah. I'm tired. <laughs> it's okay, though. It's okay. It's okay. So, uh, Simon Pegg and Nick Frost are going to be in a new series on the 30th about ghost hunting. I'm pretty excited about that. Um, I believe it's on Amazon Prime. I am going to be watching all of that. Or, no, no, it's not a series, it's a movie, I think. It's a movie about a television series. Um, obviously a fictional television series. But, uh, yeah. Anything with Nick Ross and Simon Pegg in it? Yeah, I'm, I'm down. I am down. I will always be down for seeing more of, uh, more of those two together in any role. Yeah, it looks really funny. As, uh, as you would expect. Still trying to keep my eyes peeled for some of those uh, little monsters I haven't collected yet. You gotta catch them all and whatnot. You understand? You know, for a crypt, this place really isn't uh, really isn't letting me down here. It's definitely uh, it's definitely living up to the crypt title. Gotta say. So one of those uh, one of those floaty guys that uh, killed Gobta earlier. I think he was at the start of the dungeon. So we should be able to just exit the dungeon and re-go back in and should find him relatively quickly. So, not too super worried if we can't find another one. Um, I've only seen, I think, two of them. 
So, you know. Fun. Okay, I already went that way. Absolutely agree. Uh, anything Simon Pegg is in your watching to... Um, to show the boys, it's pretty good too, but not his typical character. Wait, to show the boys. Wait, what? 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 One of my favorite roles was actually his role in Mission Impossible. He did a really good job in that series. I was pleasantly surprised by that, and I'm really glad they gave him more of a role in the uh, the follow-up movies. He's really funny. So is, uh... Ah, what's his name? Freaking... Jeremy Renner. Mr. Hurt Locker himself. Um, he's got really good comedic timing as well. You gotta be getting done here. Pretty quick. Like thirty percent of the dungeon done. Starting to see moths again. I don't know what that says, but sure. Oh, there it is. There's one. There's one. There's one of the little floaty boys. All right. Found you, sucker. Got 154 bait here for you guy. Okay, I need you to come over here. Yes, thank you. Well, I'm not getting bombarded with uh, stuff. Wow, this guy hits pretty hard, actually. hitting me so hard, actually. <laughs> Thanks. Come here. Come here. I want to use up all of my everything on you. Wow. You're actually... Proving to be annoying. Come here. Finally. Ruined Dead Knight. Yeah, this guy, he, he hit pretty hard. Oh yeah, Simon Simon Pegg was in uh was in the boys for a second. You know, it's it's uh, he was actually more of a cameo. Uh why they put him in. Dang. Yeah, way to murk that fool. Um it's, uh, Oh nice, he's strong too. Yeah, we'll 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 keep him with us. Um he seems pretty, pretty powerful, all things considered. Go ahead and do that. Hang on. Okay. Right. During all that nonsense, I unequipped my weapons like the actual fool that I am all right okay let's uh let's do this get him dread knight or dead knight it's not a dread knight he's a dead knight slight difference he's a strong dead knight too that's pretty cool I think, uh, I think we could see some real potential out of this, uh, this monster. I don't know what that did, but... Did something! Get all this bait and everything back. Alright, we gotta go... 
this way, probably. I would imagine. Gotta think of a cool name for this dead knight. If you guys have any cool names for a floating dead knight, dude, let me know. Hey, look, there's another one. Man, they are actually pretty powerful. Not a big fan of the cheap shots with the magic through the walls, I'm not going to lie. He's alive! <laughs> Alright. Can get the dark spell, it'll go through walls. Yeah! I haven't dabbled too much more with uh, magic. I should! I've been focusing more on the support skills with, uh, with Zans here. I, I, I'll tell you though, if, uh,. If I started a new game, I would definitely have a better idea of what skills I would like to uh, to prioritize in the early game. I'll tell you that much right now. Definitely could have stood min-maxing a little bit better, you know? Oh well. We're still doing fine. Still doing fine. Oh yeah, I wanted to see if uh, computer-controlled Zans would properly use uh, the uh, ability to regenerate mana without me having to babysit him or not. Oh, there he is. <laughs> yeah. Knew you'd be showing up eventually. Die! Die! <laughs> Alright, he's dead. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty, pretty easy. What did I get? A fragile skull? Ooh, we can make tea. Woo! Okay. No, I would actually prefer, like, a Dark Souls-style mechanic with uh, those bosses, where you can get an item and you could turn that item into, like, a piece of armor or a weapon or something like that. I think that would be cooler. Uh, hey, nice! We got ourselves a storybook. I've been wanting another... Hey, you mind? I've been wanting another... Uh, been wanting another book. Heck yeah. 90%, huh? 90 gosh dang percent. Right. That means there's probably like one or two more orbs or something around here somewhere that I haven't found and probably going to end up ripping my hair out looking for. Well, anyway, uh, that's going to do it for that episode. If you guys liked it, feel free to hit that like button, leave a comment down below, so on and so forth. If you're uh, watching on Twitch, stick around. I'm going to keep playing.